no exceptions to save a woman's life. I swore an oath to protect my patients. Michelle Steele's abortion ban threatened their lives. HMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Meet Winston, custom-made security screens that are beautiful and tough. <laughs> and with Winston's free in-home consultation and installation, achieving home safety is a breeze. Get 30% off today. Call now or go to Winston.com. Here's what voting yes on 35 means. It trains more doctors, more nurses, more EMTs to make it easier to get an appointment and get wait times down. Vote yes on 35 so patients get the care they need when they need it. Wednesday. Samsung's new fitness tech from rugged watches to smart rings. And do you need both? Next, Rich on Tech. Wednesday at 5 a.m. Now at 11, several local college students say a homeless man broke into their home overnight, and they say this is not the first time he's been around. We're live. The investigation continues into a violent explosion that destroyed a backhouse in Long Beach. We're live from the scene. And Hurricane Milton closing in on Florida right now is a Category 4 hurricane. Evacuations are already underway. And Casey Montoya here with your 5 Live forecast. And we'll look at the path of Milton and then also talk about our weather here in SoCal where it's going to be above average again today away from the coast, but a little cooler weather on the way. We'll talk about that straight ahead. Good morning and welcome to the KTLA 5 Morning News at 11 a.m. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Thanks for joining us. We begin with breaking news. One person is dead and several others in the hospital after an overdose call at the Men's Central Jail in downtown Los Angeles. Rich Prickett overhead in Sky 5. Rich. Glenn and Lou, is as many as seven people that were exposed to some sort of a white powder here at the Men's Central Jail earlier this morning. You can see the deputies that are still here at the command post in the parking lot of the jail. Uh, it would appear that the operation is starting to scale back. However, uh, six people were transported uh, for some sort of exposure. One person, uh, believed to be a man in around 35 years of age, uh, was in critical condition when, when they uh, responded to the jail here. They tried to do everything they could to save that, that person. Unfortunately, he was beyond saving. It was pronounced dead here at the jail. Hazmat teams are still here to decontaminate uh, whatever substance uh, was found within the men's jail here. City firefighters are here as well. Uh, again, this is the men's central jail here in downtown LA, operated by the LA City or LA County Sheriff's Department here. Um, so, uh, so some sort of a white powder was discovered here in the jail. Seven people were exposed, killing one person. It's still unclear whether or not all seven people were inmates, faculty members, or deputies. So we get more information and we'll pass it along. Live in Sky 5, I'm Rich Prickett. Send it back to you in Hollywood. All right, Rich, thank you. Rattled nerves near USC after a group of female students say a homeless man peeked into their windows and then broke into their home. And this apparently is not the first time he's done this. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang is live in University Park with the latest developments and surveillance video. Kimberly. Hi, here on Menlo Avenue, many of the homes are privately owned but occupied by USC students. Now, I want to move up to the side here so you could take a look at where this happened. Um, in this house, about a dozen female students live on property. Now, I spoke with multiple, and they tell me they are terrified because a strange man has been seen on the property multiple times. Take a look at this video from their security camera. It shows a man walking around the backyard, and at one point, he grabs a broom puts it back down, then goes up the steps toward a back door. That's when the camera stops recording, and the women claim that's when he opened the door and made his way inside their home. And they say this is the third time that he's been to the property. On Saturday, he was seen on their front porch. The man may be homeless. They say he doesn't say anything. He just stares, and his intentions are unknown. Now, around midnight, three of the women were studying at their dining room table when one of them looked up and says she saw him standing by the back door inside their kitchen. Yeah. I just see him standing in the kitchen and we make direct eye contact. One of my roommates started shrieking um, really, really loud, and the other one started shrieking because she saw him too. I didn't see him. I thought there was a spider, so we ran into like our other roommate's bedroom and locked the door. My initial response was like to take flight, and we just like made a, like a run for it, and like grabbed my phone because I knew I had to like call 911. 
The students called 911. LAPD responded but told KTLA that they did not file a report because there's no evidence that a crime was committed. Now, the students say they also contacted the university's Department of Public Safety on Saturday to report that they had seen this man here a couple of times, but they do not feel that this has been taken seriously. The students are frightened. They say they don't want something worse to happen, and they're urging the university and police to step up patrol in the neighborhood. Reporting live in University Park, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Thank you, Kimberly. Well, four people were taken to the hospital after a multi-vehicle crash on the 101 freeway in Woodland Hill, Hills. Now, this happened just before 1 a.m. on the westbound lanes near Fallbrook Avenue. Authorities say that four cars were involved, prompting an hours-long closure of that portion of the 101. One of the cars rolled over, and one person had to be freed from a vehicle. The condition of the four victims are unclear, and the cause of this crash is under investigation. A Long Beach firefighters are trying to determine the cause of an explosion that destroyed a house. One person was injured in that blast that left debris scattered across the neighborhood. Lauren Lister live in Long Beach with the very latest details. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Lou. Just take a look at the mess left behind where that house exploded. As you can imagine, the structure has been red tagged, meaning it is not inhabitable. A man in his 30s, according to authorities, is in the hospital this morning, injured but expected to recover after this. That explosion rocking the neighborhood on the 2800 block of Gale Avenue yesterday morning, right about this time of day, 11 a.m. According to a notice posted by the city of Long Beach, it was a back house, what's known as an accessory dwelling unit or an ADU, that exploded and it was an unpermitted building. Shock and panic in the neighborhood in the aftermath of the blast. It was caught on security footage. It knocked out power to the entire area for a time. Neighbors rushed in to try to help any survivors amid the wreckage and the debris. No no one was killed. Authorities say that man in his 30s was injured, though, and rushed to the hospital. Two adults and a teenager were in the main house at the time and were okay. Uh, they did not want us to talk to cameras. The explosion was so powerful, it shattered windows of a nearby home and caused the roof of a house across the street to collapse. A neighbor showing damage to his own home, explaining his wife was about to take the dog out for a walk when it happened. We tried to open. It was an explosion, and then the, the, the door go like this and hit her here and then she ran that way and she start like screaming like what happened what happened and I told her just to stay down <laughs> this is the first time this happened and I was like Yeah, you can imagine it was quite a shock. Now, initial reports indicate it may be some kind of a malfunctioning gas appliance that was the cause of this, but it is all still under investigation, and we are awaiting word from the Long Beach Fire Department about any developments in their investigation. That's the latest live here in Long Beach. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you, Lauren. Robbed at the racetrack, Dodgers pitcher Walker Bueller reportedly among the victims targeted by a group of thieves at Santa Anita Park. Our credit police say the criminal struck three separate times on the same day late last month, working as a group to steal expensive watches off unsuspecting victims' wrist. The independent media organization Dodgers Nation identified Bueller as one of those victims, reporting that he was robbed of a luxury watch worth at least $100,000. Police say two of the victims...